So, I am working with the Raspberry Pi 4 device right now and I will install Thony on it. Let me open the Raspberry Pi terminal. The text inside it looks tiny. Now, you can see it clearly. Now, let's perform the update command first. It is necessary if you are using your device for the first time or it has been a long time since using this device. After the update operation, perform the Thony installation command. As you can see, Thony is already installed in my Raspberry Pi device. In case you do not have Thony installed in your device, it will be installed after executing this command. Now type Thony and execute it to launch the application. Great! So we have launched it. This is how the Thony ID and the editor window looks like. You can write a Python program inside this editor and execute it. Now let me customize this ID according to my choice. Click on Tools and then Options. Then click theme and font. Here let me select the UI theme as clean dark and the syntax theme default dark and then click OK to save this settings. So I have customized it according to my choice. You can also customize as per your convenience. Next let us test a simple python program. The text are little tiny. So let me fix it. Perfect. Now it looks good. Now let us click on this run button to execute this program. So we got the output down here. So we have printed hello using python code. Let me test one more code. Just type this code and then execute it. And the next time we will get the updated results in the terminal. So finally, we have installed Thony on the Raspberry Pi device.